Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you the three stages to Wing Chun mastery. If you've ever thought, how should I be approaching my Wing Chun training? Am I learning the practicality of the techniques? Or is this giving me the confidence to apply these techniques in a real situation? In this video, I'm going to show you how. So stick around to the end so you can see all three stages and then you can apply them to your own training. All right guys, let's get started. Okay, so stage one, learn slow. Don't rush the process. Make sure you take your time to fully understand what the technique is all about. It doesn't matter if it's basic or an advanced technique. Take your time, do it slowly and practice one side at a time. So I've got Stefan and Sean here to help me demonstrate this stage and we're gonna do it with the Park Sao technique. So most Wing Chun practitioners are familiar with this. So we'll show you how to do the Park Sao technique, just one person doing it slowly, one side at a time. And then switch, other side, slowly. and stop. Okay, now, as I said before, it doesn't matter which technique you're drilling, you must take this approach, so that way you don't rush through the process and you start to see how the technique is working for you, if you've got the right distance and the right timing. Once you've covered stage one, then I recommend stage two. Stage two is when you start to work on the same type of technique, but this time, combining both sides. So in this case for the Park Sao, I'll have the guys work on the right side, the left side, right side, left side, first in an orderly way and then randomly. So that is stage two. So guys, how about you feed each other right, left first. That's it, and now just move back a bit, and now go left, right. Okay, once you've done that in an orderly way, then you want the person feeding you the attack to go randomly, same techniques, random punches. So just go two punches each randomly. Okay, so once you've covered these two stages, then you're ready to move on to stage number three, which is pressure test. Now, as you can see, the guys were working on these techniques pretty much keeping a safe distance, about two steps away from each other with a basic guard because once again, we're just working on a basic technique to demonstrate these stages for you in this video. Later on, you'll see that with pressure testing, you can stand in a different stance with one foot leading and the person attacking won't stand with that uh, same distance when they attack. They'll be moving in, they'll be moving out, they'll be working on different angles. So let's move on to stage number three, pressure test. Now keep in mind, we're just pressure testing the Park Sao technique, okay? Now the guys are wearing boxing gloves. I know some of you are not used to using boxing gloves for your training, but we do because we have many other different techniques where we use elbows and forearms against the fist. So in order for us to keep everyone safe, we have them use the boxing gloves. Now some of you will say, oh, but with a boxing glove, it's not easy to slap, trust me you get over it in 30 seconds. You just slap the same way with a fist as you would with an open hand. Plus it's just practice for now, it's just training. So what the guys are gonna do next, I'll have one feed the straight punches because we're just pressure testing the puck cell and putting the pressure on the other person, okay? Then we'll switch. Okay guys, so when you're ready,
Okay, and swap. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Keep in mind that these three stages apply to every technique you learn, right? So whether it's a hand technique, uh, kicking technique, basic, intermediate, or advanced, use the same approach and you'll see that in no time you'll take your Wing Chun training to the next level. So guys, if you haven't already, please check some of my other videos. Uh, I've got plenty of how-to tutorials and demos to give you an idea of how we approach our Wing Chun training. And also, don't forget to check out my Wing Chun by Design podcast. That's it for today. I'll see you all on the next video.